Okay, so I'm getting ready to smoke some uh, pork butt. Uh, came from a big old banjo butt type pig and it's nice and round and plump and juicy. But last night, I want to show what we did last night. We got uh, how many pounds of meat did we do? 28 pounds of meat and we I put uh, what she's holding right here uh, through my grinder so it's hamburger. So we got like uh, 10 of those jars and then right here is this is the meat um, that we got and one little secret that I found out is uh, to do to make meat to look like that you have to get like a big old slab of chuck or whatever and you have to cut it down you have to cut all the fat out and go through all this effort well, we went to Costco and talked to the butcher and we ended up buying the 28 pounds of of beef and it was all cubed up and he says there's filet in there and there's all kinds of different meats in there and all we did just literally came back and just uh, did nothing to it and just canned it because all, all the work was already done and it was about 80, 80 cents cheaper per pound so we got a number of these all ready to go in case shit hits the fans and the zombies come after us we have something to throw at them so there's mama out there picking the lettuce you can tell I'm a Spaniard because I got the indigenous race to do my labor for me but I better not let her hear me say that. She'll take her bull whip to me again. Okay, this is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge. How y'all doing today? Today I'm going to be preparing some pork butt and some chicken for our smoker. And today we're going to be smoking like the big boys on my newly improvised smoker. So stick around, huh? We've already got this going with her rub and her drumsticks over here. Uh, I need to make one more modification to my smoker because it's, it only has one rack so I'm going to smoke probably just one of these chickens and refrigerate the rest and then do a deja vu tomorrow. So as you see here, I have a nice fat juicy pork butt. Two cheeks, one here, one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a little roast to smoke and I am going to cut up some steaks and freeze the rest and so on and so forth. I'll probably make some sausage out of some of this so I'm kind of looking for some really lean meat to uh, can because you don't want to can and have a bunch of fat in it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut out a small roast right here basically and I'm just going to smoke this and this is all just a trial run and I'm sure that smoker is going to be doing really 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 well. Mm. Okay, now that out of the way I'm not doing uh, anything to this. Uh, I just need to rub my shovel hands. And here's the rub. I need to put a lot on here because uh, there's a lot of fat and the fat will render and it'll sweat off with some of the spice. So it's gonna get all six sides. It's so humid in here. This is like uh, 60 degrees, which is very unheard of in Colorado. Uh, so look at my spices are just clumping up. Smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's that. So, all right, let's go uh, put it on the smoker. My nice, juicy pork butt. Going right into the smoker. And here's my chicken. Ooh, yeah. 
Now I got a pan of water in here, even though it's so humid outside here. And uh, what's going to end up happening is that that's going the water in there is going to keep it uh, so it doesn't get all dried out. So, so here's my pork butt. I'm going to give my pork butt a good thorough probing with my chevalon. And I'm kind of going like this. I'm going to put a few of these vent bowl right here. Got it set here for 195 degrees. It's 54 right now. So at 195 degrees, this is going to set an alarm to let me know so I don't overcook it. Okay, so. All right, these are my wood chips. I'm using cherry right now, and I'm going to go down and get me some pecan or some hickory or something. Uh, that's a good mixture. Here's my pan of water right there. So this is what I want to do is I want this rack for my smoking. So I'm going to put me an additional rack down here right above the door here so I could add wood chips. So it's on. It is on right now. I'll put on four. Now when I tested it yesterday, four gave me 175 degrees. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes and this thing should be smoking really good by then. Okay, it's only been like three or four minutes. This thing is smoking like a champ already. So I better hurry up and go get me some uh, some more wood. Okay, now that Mr. Asshole... Oh, there he goes. I call him Mr. Asshole because he lets his dogs bark and just... He's a an ass. You know, your renter there too. And he's like goes off on all this uh, yard work like it's his house. Anyway, so... It's been about an hour. The temperature has raised to 72 degrees. And I'm still on the same uh, handful of chips. Wood chips. So I'm going to add some. I'm going to add some chips to it. Oh, chinga to beep. Well, I think I better make me something to facilitate that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this water bottle. I'm going to cut two ends off. I'm going to make a tube I can stick in there and feed my chip through. <laughs> All right, so I'm back with my hickory. That's what this is here. Uh, I cut the bag like this so I can use this piece here to tie it back closed. So here's my handy dandy invention, huh? I think this works, so I'm going to patent it. So I'm going to load it up and take it to the smoker. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. And my oh, pork is about 82 degrees. So here's my deal. A little bit of chips in there. So all i got to do is kind of go like this. And there you go, nice and neat. Pretty handy dandy. So, uh, I'm having a hard time getting up my damn knee. Anyway, so that's what's going on. All right, so it's been smoking for four hours now, I guess. Uh, I got the hickory in there now. Doing good. It's so rainy. Look at all the weeds out there. I just can't keep up with them. And here's the garden, but I can't keep up with all these weeds. I got a rock driveway. It's like, you know, I'm not going to spend 150, 200 bucks a month for weed killer. Screw that. So, anyway, I'm going to go out there and check the temperature and uh, I'm getting ready to pull it and we shall. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, some barbecue beans. I'm going to render down this, this bacon. And I'm 
going to just simply put it in a pan like this. I'm going to render it down. I'm going to add my beans to it and some onions. And I got these cool beans I want to share with you guys. So that's it. Okay, so I got my onions in here. I rendered out the fat and the bacon. Uh, and I didn't throw all the bacon fat out. Of course not. That would be a sin. So now I'm going to add. These are ranch style beans. And these are a good base for uh, your barbecue beans. So if you see what's in there. Give me the barbecue sauce out and open it. So, uh, okay, so now, now I'm going to add some Masterpiece private stock. Now you can put in here as much of this barbecue sauce as you like. Uh, I usually put enough in and then taste it. Uh, another variation you can do with this is you could add a bell peppers or, you know, Italian sausage or, you know, whatever you kind of got, really. And it all comes out great. So I'm just going to let this warm up. My chicken is done. So I imagine the pork roast in there is done too. So uh, we'll see how it's going to taste, huh? Okay, my pork roast is climbed up to 162. Eh, 165. It'll get to 165, I think. So that's it. Let's eat. That looks juicy. Let me get on the other side. The juice just coming right off of that. And I let this rest for about 10 minutes too. So look at that. See this shoulder or pork butt is the best to barbecue. I don't like tenderloin. It's just too, too. Uh, too dry, there's no fat in it. Look at this, look at this here. Look at all the fat in there, just like this is going to impart some really super good flavor. So let's plate up. Okay, let's eat like a king. These beans are really hot. Put some barbecue sauce on this pork like this. So I got some chard over there, some green onions, and here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That fat has a lot of great smoke flavor. Mmm. So, I'm just going to sit and enjoy this. Uh, it's barbecue beans, I guarantee, are to die for. Alright, man, over and out.